satellite measurements have confirmed a significant structural shift in the Southern Ocean. A change in the water's composition is spreading along the Antarctic circumpolar current, and the signal has only intensified since 2016. An international team of researchers has detected a steady and persistent rise in salinity levels in surface waters. It's occurring across one of the most powerful current systems on the planet. This isn't what scientists expected. Models had consistently pointed toward freshening. Melting glaciers and declining sea ice should dilute the Southern Ocean with fresh water. But the surface is becoming more saline instead. The discovery came from a team at the University of Southampton, with technical breakthroughs led by the Barcelona-based ICM CSIC. They developed a new algorithm to process satellite data from the European Space Agency's SMOS mission, unlocking a part of the planet that had remained largely unreadable until now. This change matters. Saltier water is denser, it sinks more easily, dragging down cooler surface water and pulling up warmer layers from below. That vertical mixing increases the flow of heat upward toward the base of sea ice. Ice that once melted from wind and sunlight above is now being eroded from below by warm, rising currents. That same process also affects the release of carbon. Deeper waters in the Southern Ocean store massive amounts of CO2. As the mixing rate accelerates, carbon that was once trapped begins to escape into the atmosphere. The shift isn't isolated. A structural change like this alters the mechanical exchange between layers of the ocean. That has consequences for temperature regulation, ice stability, and the atmosphere above it. And it's unfolding across a region long considered essential to the planet's ability to hold back climate shifts. The Southern Ocean has always been difficult to monitor. It's remote, volatile, and ice-covered for much of the year. Traditional satellites struggled to collect clean data across its surface. That changed when the Barcelona Expert Center, a lab within ICM CSIC, built a new processor tailored for polar variability. It allowed ESA's SMOS satellite to produce high-resolution surface salinity readings for the first time in this part of the world. The improvement was immediate, and what emerged was unexpected. The Southern Ocean isn't just a cold patch around Antarctica. It's one of the most important climate control systems on Earth. It absorbs more heat and carbon than any other ocean region and drives circulation patterns that affect the entire globe. As its structure shifts, that function weakens. More heat escapes upward, more carbon leaves the water column, and the stability of long-standing circulation patterns becomes uncertain. One system already under strain is the Atlantic Current, known as the AMOC. If the Southern Ocean begins to push more heat and carbon into the air, it could add stress to that system too. This isn't a slow drift. Since 2016, the trend has continued without reversal. Sea ice is thinning. The surface is more saline, and that pattern is spreading. Europe, South America, the Indian Ocean Basin, these regions are all tied to the rhythm of deep ocean flow. Any change in one part of that network can affect the whole system. In response, the European Space Agency has launched two new missions, Arctic Flow, focused on freshwater and density changes in the north, and CCI OSHF, tracking ocean surface heat flux around the globe. Both are designed to give scientists better tools for reading the early stages of system-wide change before they escalate. But the first signs of disruption came from the far south, and those signs were missed for years. What changed was a layer of water. What could follow is a breakdown in one of Earth's main defenses against extreme change. The Southern Ocean is no longer behaving as expected, and the signal has already gone global. 